Hey folks, so ViewSonic have this new 27-inch 4K monitor that's meant for professionals. Being part of the Color Pro line, it features a factory calibrated 4K IPS panel with 10-bit colors. It also has a built-in KVM switch and lets you charge your laptop over USB-C while connected. They sent one of their early sample my way for me to have a look, and here we are today. Keep in mind it's not the final product, so it might change a bit when it releases, but it should be pretty close. Let's have a look. This monitor comes with a very practical stand. It offers height adjustment with spring assist, tilt, pan, and rotation. The stand goes high enough so that you can use the monitor vertically with no issues. It's not the prettiest stand out there, and I'm not a fan of the glossy plastic they used at some places, but it does work very well. Finally, the monitor has a visa mount at the back that's not recessed for easy installation on any monitor arm. I did install it on my Ergotron Trace arm for the rest of the review, as it's already clamped to my desk and cable managed, but the stock stand will be good enough for most people in my view. All the controls are at the front, I would say it doesn't look as good as when they're under or behind the monitor, but it has the benefit of being really practical when using them. Finally, the bezels are relatively thin, like most other premium monitors out there I would say, but the chin is a bit thicker and is made from a separate piece of plastic. In terms of inputs, we have two HDMI, one DisplayPort, one Type-C, one USB 3.2 host, and two USB 3.2 ports. That's a pretty generous port selection. HDMI and DisplayPort will be great for desktop computers, while USB Type-C is quite useful for mobile devices. And having two USB ports with a host connector adds a KVM feature to this monitor, which I'll talk a bit more about later. The Type-C port can also charge devices up to 60 watts, which is pretty good. It will also act as a hub with the two USB ports. So with a single USB-C cable, you can charge your laptop, send a 4K video feed to the monitor, and connect to peripherals through the monitor. Pretty neat. Now to the panel, this is a 27-inch 4K panel, and while some would say that it's a bit too high of a resolution for that panel size, I would argue that I can appreciate how sharp it is compared to a 32-inch panel. Ideally drive the latter, and it's not really a retina-like. I can sort of see the pixels, and smaller text isn't the sharpest, but on a 27-inch panel, it's super sharp, and pixels are undistinguishable. It's an IPS panel, which is great for color reproduction and viewing angles, and it's 10-bit for a greater dynamic range. Looking at the menu, there's a bunch of view modes. These are tailored for specific applications, including video editing, photo editing, and CAD. Color reproduction is not incredible, but acceptable for the price. You get 100% of sRGB and Rec. 709, but only 80% coverage of DCI-P3, so not the best for tasks such as video editing. Also, this monitor is not really made for gaming, but it does work fine, I guess, and you get some lower input lag settings too if you're more serious about gaming. It's okay bright at 350 nits, far from HDR, but better than your average monitor. And finally, I do not have the tools to evaluate if the calibration is accurate, but it is factory calibrated. Let me know down below if you'd like to see calibration results of my own in future monitor videos. Now to the actual productivity features, this monitor features a KVM. This means that you can switch both the video feed and your peripherals at once between two computers. This way, your monitor can be easily shared between two machines. To do so, you must connect your peripherals to the monitor's USB ports, and then have one computer using the Type-C cable, and the other one with the host USB cable and either the display port or one of the HDMI inputs. With this setup, peripherals will connect to the USB-C connected device when displaying its video feed, and they will connect to the USB host machine when displaying any of the other video inputs. That's pretty neat, as you can have two computers with a single monitor, and still only own one of every peripheral you need, without the need of manually reconnecting them between computers. The USB ports are 3.2 I believe, but over Type-C, they will drop down to USB 2.0 given the USB Type-C bandwidth limitations. Still, pretty useful for a keyboard and mouse, which don't require a lot of bandwidth anyway. Other interesting features include the possibility to rotate the OSD for vertical use. Speaking of which, the OSD works fairly well, the buttons at the front are contextual, so their function will change depending on the action. I was really impressed with how in-depth you can adjust the image and how many settings it offers. You can also adjust image settings with the Color Pro software, but this monitor is too recent to be supported yet, so we'll have to wait to see how well it works. So, in conclusion, 
This is a pretty solid monitor for productivity. It doesn't have the most flashy design out there and doesn't have the most impressive color reproduction or brightness, but I think it's acceptable for the price. And it does allow for in-depth adjustment of the image. The included stand is good enough where you don't need a monitor arm. The built-in KVM is a must-have feature if you plan on sharing the monitor between two computers. And the fact that it offers USB Type-C charging is a nice addition. The MSRP is supposedly around 639. Keep in mind, this is an early prototype, so things may change a bit, but if they do, let's hope it's for the best. So that's it for today. I'll have a link down below to this monitor if you're interested. Well, if it's out by the time I post this video, otherwise check back later for an updated link. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already as I'll see you in the next video.